Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 8 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. Now as you can see, we've had an international management offer, but I'm not going to take a job at a country of uh, the sort of calibre of Hungary. Like with the uh, the Tottenham career mode, if we get a, 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 a contract offer from a big nation like a France or a Portugal or a Spain or an England, etc., then we will take that and have uh, another kind of World Cup mini-series when it gets to the summer. But... We're away from international football. There's nothing to uh, to be concerned about with that so far. So we're coming into this game against Cardiff. Oscar went close there. And uh, Cardiff actually put up one hell of a fight. They were such a physical, strong team that just put an absolute shift in to a man. And that, that striker, Cornelius, I honestly don't know too much about him. But he was a thorn in my side for most of that game. Not necessarily having too many chances. But he was able to keep the ball away from me and hold the ball up well for his teammates to push forward. They were playing like a 4-5-1, uh, especially when defending so they constantly, as I was on the attack, had 10 men at least uh, behind the ball, including the goalkeeper, maybe even all men, uh, including Cornelius, if uh, if I was particularly catching them on a, on a good spell of possession. But uh, we came close there again with a header from Varane, but nothing in this, in this particular game seemed to go on target very well for us. It was one of those games where you just... I'm snapping at chances because then not too many are coming along. As you can see, another snapshot from distance. There aren't many chances coming along. They were frustrating me a little bit and when I just got a sight of goal, I just couldn't help myself but have a quick stab at goal and unfortunately, we weren't able to get one there. But Juan Mata has another decent shot. That one was uh, a better worked move but they got a decent block in and Mata's going to go up for this head and he just crumbles under that challenge from the defender and the ref's going to pull it back and unfortunately... We We've just got Oscar back from a four-week injury, but Juan Mata is going to be out for four weeks himself now with, as you can see, a hyper-extended knee. Now, that is particularly painful, and uh, I think it's Willian I'm going to bring on in the end for uh, for Mata. I'm going to put him out wide. I know you'll be able to see from the challenge, the, uh, the replay of the challenge, Mata just absolutely crumbles. It looks so painful. Oh, that's just it makes you cringe because you just know how painful that's going to be. But Willian got himself involved straight away. I was really, really pleased. Picking up the ball here. Nice turn. A great acceleration to get away. And uh, draws a good save at the goalkeeper. Now, it wasn't David Marshall in goal, actually, weirdly, for Cardiff. I'm not entirely too sure who it was. But obviously, in real life, David Marshall's been absolutely superb for Cardiff all season long. And uh, their keeps was exactly the same here. Louise with that final shot. And that was just inches. So, so close. I was up off my seat when I had that shot. Just willing it to go in that far bottom corner but unfortunately it just squeezed past that far post and we're only able to pick up a point at home against Cardiff now I, there's only so many times that I can keep saying we've got a clean sheet before I start getting a little bit annoyed and a little bit frustrated with all these nil-nil draws we keep picking up so I wanted to jump into this next game in the Champions League against Milan really get on the front foot and fly at them and this game was honestly played at like a hundred miles an hour constantly the entire first half was just a blur it was just end-to-end -end stuff flying this way and that as you can see after two games in the Europa in the Champions League group every single side is on three points so it is vital that we still continue to pick up points in this Champions League obviously we beat Zenit St Petersburg at home lost away to Olympiacos we've got Milan at home now as you can see huge huge game and uh, Essien's going to have a snapshot here they've actually got Akinfeyev or Akinfeyev in goal not Abiati so they've gone out and picked him up from CSKA Moscow and he was going to thwart me time and time again in this first half we were all over them Ramirez sets up Willian is going to have another shot and it's a great save from Akinfeyev again how he's held on to that I don't know it was really really good hands from him then Ramirez is going to play through Sherlock unfortunately he isn't going to be able to, uh, to get the ball into his stride first time round turns gets inside in the finesse I wanted to go for that far top corner but it's just a little bit too central you see from the replay it flies over the bar rather than going perhaps further towards that left hand corner it's a little bit too through the middle to uh, to cause the goalkeeper any sort of worry whatsoever but we're pushing into first half stoppage time now Eden Hazard cutting down that left hand side into Diego Costa hasn't really been picking up the goals recently but a uh, decent effort there and again the goalkeeper makes a decent diving save down to his left hand side to keep us at bay and we go in at half time at nil nil again but you'll be able to see from the stats that will pop up on screen in just a minute Milan just had no answer to me in the first half as you can see Zenit are 2-1 up against Olympiacos so that will put them top of the group if it stays as is but Milan have had no shots at all in the entire game so of course as you can expect they pick up a corner 5 minutes into the second half Bull's going to drop to the edge of the box Constant plays it into Balotelli takes an early shot world class finish from a world class striker and we're 1-0 down the ball flies in off the post and uh, you guys have been asking me to leave some uh, some extra replays in in the comments so uh, I'm going to leave in some extra replays in this particular episode 
so uh, hopefully you can uh, you can enjoy those they really are gorgeous and uh, I have been cutting them out because I don't want to just absolutely flood you with replays because then there's there's more you know slow-mo replays than there is actual gameplay and I don't want to it's kind of getting a, that balance between the two and there, there is a fine line between it becoming rather than watching a football match to kind of just watching a movie which is not entirely what you want when uh, trying to put together an entertaining flowing video but Eden Hazard here that is entertaining that is absolutely superb Balotelli hit one, a wonder goal but Eden Hazard's done exactly the same now in the last episode I said that I was a little bit disappointed in him that he hadn't been picking up the goals that I necessarily wanted him to but he has chipped in there and it's almost as if he's picked up the mantle from his real life performance against Sunderland the other day because that is a worldy finish I was really really impressed with that and again I'll leave in a couple of replays I actually do like the fact that we've got Champions League balls this year I don't remember having Champions League balls last year on uh, on FIFA World, on, on my team on uh, career mode so it's really nice addition to have that extra little bit of licensing in because I am a stickler for realism so uh, that is pleasing to my uh, to my OCD but Willian cuts inside there really really well and unfortunately the goalkeeper is going to make another good save and uh, we're actually pushing it to stop his time now and they were on the attack and I was really really nervous because uh, I did not need to lose this game we couldn't afford to lose it and thankfully Polly's going to cut his effort wide of that far post and we're going to take a point so uh, it's not a clean sheet but it's still a draw so uh, it's something to build on especially considering the way Milan came back at us in that second half I was ple pleased with our resolve and the fact we were able to step it up again and pick up that goal to get the equaliser through Eden Hazard just four minutes after they'd taken the lead so uh, we're doing okay in the Champions League group Zenit St Petersburg did in fact beat Olympiakos so uh, Zenit are top on six points then there's us and Milan on four and Olympiakos on three so I think we have to go to Milan in a way in the next game if memory serves but before we get anywhere near that Champions League tie there is a huge Barclays Premier League game here at home Stamford Bridge against Manchester City they sit top of the table as you'll be able to see from the stats coming up Liverpool sat just behind them in second and if we win we can still go up towards those top three positions we'll go above Newcastle on goal difference if we can pick up a victory so it's kind of the same to the uh, to the game at the end of the last episode where if we'd won it against Everton we could have gone uh, up to second so this we're still in touching distance with the top there's definitely not too much to worry about although it would be nice to start picking up wins rather than draws we are though still of course undefeated to this point in at the Barclays Premier League so far but Fernando Torres is going to have a snapshot there and then again it's a goalkeeper coming to the rescue for the opposition team Joe Hart making a fantastic diving save down to his left hand side to keep us at bay and Ramirez is into David Luiz now I've been I've been in two minds about David Luiz in that holding role against Norwich in the previous episode he was absolutely superb picking himself up a goal as well but in the big games he just doesn't turn up in that CDM role and I'm contemplating either selling him on and picking up a genuine world-class CDM player like perhaps Paul Pogba or Arturo Vidal or maybe even we'll go for Freddy Guarín like we did in the Tottenham career mode earlier on in the year and uh, and you know moving some other players on to, to make room for that because I just I need that little bit more from a central a central midfielder right now and David Luiz isn't quite offering that defensively he's still very very solid but I may move him back into uh, into a centre back role and uh, and perhaps look to bring in a CDM so let me leave me some suggestions down in the comments when we get to January who you might like to see me bring in in a CDM role Paul Pogba would be the obvious as well as uh, like I say Arturo Vido and or Freddy Guarín there are players like uh, Javi Martinez that we could look to bring in but I'm not overly keen on players of that ilk you know the the tall slow able to win every single tackle type players like Sergio Biscuits or Javi Martinez it's not my personal preference I like the player that can do things going both ways has a little bit of pace and a decent long distance shot but as you can see let's get back to the action we did end up drawing that nil nil with Man City so it's another clean sheet but it's a draw it's three draws out of three games in this particular episode so as you can see we sit sixth in the table though we do have a game no we don't we're seventh in the table sorry I'm looking at Spurs I'm getting flashbacks from the previous career mode we uh, four wins five draws it's just too many still no defeats we are unbeaten but we need to start picking up those points so uh, we definitely need to start uh, putting some wins back to back to back if we possibly can we've got a couple of easier games coming up of course we've had some strong opponents recently with uh, Milan and Manchester City and Everton and Tottenham etc so hopefully we can start picking up some wins against some quote unquote 
lesser opposition although I don't want to underestimate any teams because that is where you become unstuck completely and we cannot afford to make any more mistakes so that's going to bring this episode to a close guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb if we could hit 60 to 70 again I'll be absolutely delighted if you aren't subscribed already then feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode yesterday then there will be an annotation on screen over the little snippet of gameplay you can see there but that is going to bring this one to an end so thank you very much for watching guys we'll be back tomorrow with pac-man the gold edition the second episode of that so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time